All right, folks, so here is a Zygu G90. Some people call it Shigu, Zhegu. I've heard it pronounced a bunch of different ways. Anyhow, we're gonna do a firmware update and you're gonna to need to use this USB cable that came with a radio. It has an FTDI chipset, so you're gonna to have to sort the drivers out. Now, if we take a look at the radio, it looks like a Zygu G90, Zygu. Anyhow, you have to do the firmware on two different parts of the radio. You have the display unit, and you want to use this bottom port right here. And then you have the body, or the main uh, unit. And here on the back, you see a yellow port labeled COM, and that's the one you're going to use when you do that. Now, when you do this firmware update, you update the base first, and then you want to update the display second. So, let's go ahead and, uh, and get to it. I ordered mine off a of Radio Oddity, so that's where I'm going to go to get the firmware update. My radio shipped with version 171 and 173 is the latest. So under support, you go to the Others selection, and that will take you to the software and manuals for the other radios that they sell. And if you scroll down, you'll see a number of choices for Zygu. You want to make sure that you pick the one for G90. Now I'll show you in the zip files that I download, the 7.3 is actually a RAR file, not a zip file. But you need to download the uh, 1.6 drivers as well to get a copy of TerraTerm, which is a software we're going to be using. Quickly, I'll show you how to check the version. Uh, if you long press the function button, you'll get a menu, and then you can just scroll through your menu options using the next selection. And it's the last one. It is, I believe it's 10. And it's 10, and that shows that I have app 1.71 on the display and 171 on the base. You have to run the same version on both. So I've already downloaded all the zip files, and I have extracted them into their own folders. And here, just showing that when you go into the 7.3, you just have the, uh, the firmware files. You have release notes, <clears throat> and then you have a document that tells you how to uh, do the upgrade itself. You need to go over into the version 1.6 folder, and in there we will see the software TerraTerm. And then you can run that right from this folder. There's no installation required. You just go down and you click on TerraTerm Pro, and it will launch the app. So once you launch the app, it's a pretty basic interface. What you want to do is you want to open up your device manager after connecting the USB cable. And we do this so we can see which COM port our cable is attached to. Uh, just go down to uh, ports common LPT and I can see mine a uh, USB cable is on COM port 4. So I'm going to need that because I'm going to have to configure TerraTerm, which we're going to do now. So from the file menu, I'm going to select new connection. And then once I do that, I want to make sure that I have serial checked, not TCP IP. I'm going to hit the drop down box and then I'm going to select COM 4 and then I'm going to hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is go to setup. And from there, I'm going to go down to serial. And I want to make sure that my settings are set this way. Specifically, I want to make sure that my baud rate is set to 11.520. With the jack plugged into the main unit's control port, I want to go ahead and power up my radio. And when I do that, I'm going to be presented with some text. Now, you want to be quick and hit the space bar, uh, so that way that you interrupt the booting sequence. When that happens, you're going to get a menu, and you want to select one to update your firmware. Now what's going to happen is it's going to erase the current version of your firmware on the main unit. And believe it or not, I, I think I sped this up for this video. Anyhow, once that's done, we're going to want to write the new firmware to the base unit. And so I do this by going to File, and then I'm going to go to Transfer, and then I'm going to go to X Modem, and I'm going to pick send. That sounds more complicated than it really is. And then I'm going to browse to the firmware that I showed you earlier. It's in the unzipped archive on my desktop. Down at the bottom left hand corner there is a checkbox for option. You want to make sure that there is a check mark in there for the 1K. Make sure you pick the appropriate, soft, the appropriate firmware. You want to pick it for the main unit for the main unit. And then when you're done hit OK and it will begin writing the firmware. I sped this up for the video too.
Now once it's done, it's saying to reboot your rig. You have to do more than just power cycle that with the on off switch. You actually need to turn off your power supply or disconnect it from a battery if you're using one. If you don't, you're going to get a little bit of an error message. And I learned about that error message the hard way. So again, you want to make sure that you disconnect your radio from its power source for about 30 seconds, give or take. Now we're going to follow the exact same procedure to write to the display head. We are going to move the cable from the main body to the display head. And what I did is I closed down TerraTerm and opened it up so I was starting fresh. I want to go ahead and I want to set my COM port and then I want to go into serial and I want to check and make sure that I have the right baud rate. Then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to power up the radio and again I want to make sure I'm quick on the trigger with that space bar. I'm going to pick one to update the firmware and that is going to erase the firmware that is on the display unit. When I get to the end of the file, I'm going to go File, Transfer, and then I want to make sure that I select the X modem option and I want to pick Send. I'm going to browse to the firmware update file, and this time I want to pick the one for the display head, and then I'm going to make sure that the 1K option is checked, and then I'm going to hit Open, and it's going to write. And like I said, this should look pretty familiar. It is the exact same process. Just a different uh, outlet on the radio and different firmware file. And then once that's done, we want to go ahead and uh, we're going to turn off our radio. We're going to disconnect it from the power again. Then we're going to boot up and we're going to check and make sure that uh, we have the right, the right firmware on the radio. So here we are with the radio, no error message this time, which was nice. Long press of the function key. Now you can go backwards on this menu, so that's what we're going to do. And then there you go. You can see the app and the base are both upgraded to V1.73. And that's it, folks. Anyhow, if you watch this video and you liked it, go ahead and click the like and uh, possibly share or leave a comment below. If you have any questions, you can post them and I'll do my best to answer. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it.